my name is Kevin Hunter, and I'm president here at Calty Design Research. And my role is basically to oversee the entire design operation and develop amazing design. We start every project trying to understand what the customer wants. And one thing that they told us was that they love the function, but they're basically uninspiring vehicles. Um, also, they were looking for something that fit their active lifestyle. But could we make one that looks cooler, sexier, fun, active? So we worked with engineering very early in the advanced stage uh, from our Newport design studio, primarily focusing on the exterior. One thing we also had to do was truly honor the big space, the minivan functionality. We could not uh, discard that. That is the wonderful uh, aspect of minivans that everybody truly loves. So our task was really, how do we take that wonderful functionality and merge it with something really cool and sexy and provocative? So one thing we, we started to do with everything is create a good athletic stance. So it looks very stable and it looks strong and it looks confident and capable. So one area that I think has a lot of strong SUV characteristics is the front end. And we wanted to actually raise up the front end a bit and create more mass to the front, more robustness, more confidence to the face. We were really inspired by the, by the bullet train in Japan, the Shinkansen. And that looks very powerful, it looks sleek. If you notice the headlights on the new Sienna, they're very slim and high tech looking and there's a lot of movement swept back around the corners as if the wind is, is forming the headlights. And that's very, very bullet train-esque. And we really love that combination of sleek, uh, speedy, and strong. And we really try to um, express that in the, in the face of the new Sienna. So once our Newport Beach studio created the advanced exterior and our Ann Arbor, Michigan studio, studio created the interior, we get everybody together and we look at these vehicles, we look at the concepts, we start evaluating how well it meets the criteria, all the parameters that we set forward at the beginning. And uh, we, we get to some agreement that we can move forward uh, to the next step and move it into uh, the production phase. And at that point, the entire project moves to our Ann Arbor, Michigan design studio. And the primary purpose of that studio is to create production design. I'm Benjamin Jimenez. I'm a general manager at Calthy Ann Arbor. And I was the chief designer responsible for the interior of the new Sienna. And Ann Arbor were responsible for the interior. Newport Beach are responsible for the exterior. But in the early stage, the advanced stage, we're really working together. And we wanted the new Sienna to look good, but we also really need it to feel good as well. We know that the exterior is gonna have this really confident stance. The interior, we want it to feel confident. And that really started the process. And then uh, the sketch came from it. The sketch was really this very sporty sketch where everything is really at your fingertips, all your controls. From there, we developed a model uh, at first, and we just kind of got some foam core and so taped up an interior and put it together and said, okay, here's, how, here's what it feels. How does this work? And that's where that bridge idea, that bridge console, which is so iconic to this interior, came from. I think the, the aspect which is most unique to the, to the Sienna model is that the interior is really split into these three layers. The first layer kind of flows out towards you, and then the next level kind of flows around, so the dash kind of flows out and around to the doors. And it just, again, it just kind of opens the space up for you. And then finally, we have the control layer up top. It's got your center display and your, your vents and your controls. And each of those layers, they're pretty thin and structural. It's a lot more intricate than a standard kind of one surface feeling. And that was a big challenge for the team. Uh, it took a lot of innovative processes to, to kind of figure out how to sculpt those without damaging the, the, the other surfaces. We have sculptors who are tremendous artists who build full-size clay models. It was a lot of fun, but it really pushed the team to a, to, a, to a new level. One of the advantages of working here in Ann Arbor is we have our engineering team uh, also in Ann Arbor with us. And without a great engineer, you can't have great design. And we're, we're really fortunate to have um, some of the best working for us here at Toyota. The new Sienna 
couldn't be built with the old way of thinking. It required new way of thinking for, for designers, for engineers, and for manufacturing, new ways of putting it together. One of the most interesting aspects of this interior is the way it kind of shape shifts to a different character. On the top level, we have platinum grade. It's very, very refined, more refined than any minivan has ever been. Frankly, it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a game changer. We've also got the XSE interior, and the XSE is a much more sporty, uh, energetic interior. The other element of the interior I haven't talked about yet is the, is the second row and third row areas. We want the driver to feel in control, and that's a big part of this new Sienna. Moving to the second row, we've got this tremendous long slide seat capability. People can just slide back and hit the recline button and really enjoy the space. Um, it's a great, great interior. And of course, you go to the third row, uh, it looks so sculpted from the outside, but it's got tons and tons of cargoes carrying space. It's really a very, very friendly vehicle to, to own. You, you think you know what a minivan is about, but this really changes things. When you get in this van, you're gonna feel in control. You're gonna feel sporty. You're gonna feel, you know, like you wanna feel driving a vehicle because it's, it, is, it is a game changer. I think the cool thing about the new Sienna is just, it functions amazingly well as a minivan. It's an authentic, legitimate, real minivan with big space, big usability, um, but it's super cool. It's very sexy, it's very provocative. So somebody who is so tired of boring minivans, boring utility looking of vehicles, but need a minivan, this is for them.